Hello and welcome to the 16th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX C++ series. In this part we're going to be looking at saving the score. We'll be continuing on as usual from the previous part of the series. If you don't have the source code for that, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. Okay, we can play a game that allows us to earn points and display the score on the game I've seen, but it doesn't check our source score against the previous high score and doesn't provide any saving functionality, which the original Flappy Bird does. Fortunately, saving simple information such as a high score is really easy. In our game over senior CVP, just before we print out the scores, we will load the previous high score. So basically, now in the game over senior game scene, uh, yeah, literally here, just before this, we'll be checking, uh, we'll load up the previous score. First, we will create a user default variable that allows us to read and write data from the storage area. This is great as it works for iOS and Android. We don't have to say iOS do this and Android do this, try and get this directory. We just use this bit of code like sprites pretty much. So we're going to do user default. I'm just going to call it def equals user default code comma shared user default uh, it's moaning that it is deprecated. I believe the non deprecated version is get instant. There we go. We will now retrieve the old score, but if it doesn't exist, we will just have zero. So we're going to do auto high score equals def get integer for key. I'm going to use the default value one, aka if you can't find. A default value, you'll just return the value that we specify, which will be zero. And for this, we're going to look at the ID for high score. This isn't shared between applications, so your application will have a separate area for storing data. So if you have high score and you have another application call that says get data from high score, it will be unique, which is pretty cool. So for the default value, like I said, we're going to put zero semicolon now we will check if our current score is higher uh, than the high score and if it is the high score will be updated and saved so we're going to do if score is greater than high score we will say high score now equals score def set integer for key and for this, we just put a high score, make sure it's the same as this. What we could do, uh, actually, I'm going to leave this as an extra task for you, is actually abstract this into a hash defined. That way, you can easily change it if you need to. The, these are the sort of stuff which really make use of definitions. Same with paths as well, like this and this. But again, I'm going to leave that for you. And for the value that we're going to save, we're going to put high score semicolon and finally we just need to end the user default file we need to flush it so we just do def flush but only do this when you're finished with it obviously you can create another one there's nothing stopping you from doing that finally we will create a high score label similar to what we've done here uh, to display the high score basically so we're going to do underscore underscore string asterisk temp high score 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 equals underscore underscore string colon colon create with format and for the format we're gonna put percent i high score semicolon and then we're gonna do auto high score label equals label ttf colon colon create and we're going to create it with temp high score get c string and for the font name we're just going to do the same as up here so that is font for slash marker felt ttf and now for the size we're going to do visible size dot height times by score font size exactly what we've done here so it's dynamic and, he, and the size looks good on different screen sizes aka retina and non-retina for example and now what we're going to do is do high score label set color 
but this is just so we can distinguish the regular score and the high score to color free B yellow and then we're going to do the high score label set position point visible dot width number 0.75 plus origin dot x and for the y one divisible size dot height divided by two plus origin dot y and what we've done here, here we position it 25% along, we've positioned the high score label now 75% along, so it's going the high score, I mean the current score label will be on the left, high score label will be on the right. So now the last thing to do is add this label as a child to the layer, so high score label. Mm, actually, you know what I'm going to do? There's no particular reason why I'm doing this, but I'm just going to call this high score flappy again there's literally no reason why I am doing this just something that I just felt like doing and now let's click play once it runs we should be able to play a game when we get some score if it's greater than our current high score or our previous high score it will load it save it and it will display the scores accordingly so this is loading up, let's just wait for a moment. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Click the play button. So let's score a point. Score another point, and then let's die on purpose. We get two, two, but if we click retry, and I'm just gonna die without actually scoring a point. As you see, we've got zero, two, as the previous score has been saved, but now I'm gonna actually beat my score at two, so let's just get three, and I'll probably die after that. And then you can see that you will update the score. I'll get four, why not? There we go, it's updated the score and it's got our current score. That is it for this tutorial in the next part because we are almost done with this game. We've got one last thing to do and that is to add audio at the moment. It's very dry and obviously there's no sounds going on. I think some sounds will help make it a lot better. But that's for the next part of this series. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at seminarsystems uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.